Hi guys, let's look at how you can display items in a combo box or in uh, this manner. Like for example, if you look at this one here, I can be in a position to have uh, objects displayed. Like for example, I can choose that. See now, I can be in a position to uh, see that one can also be in a position to see something like Friday that way so uh, in nutshell I would wish to take you through how you can uh, do this how you can come up with a list of objects in a drop down list that is in Microsoft Access therefore basically uh, we can just go to a blank uh, Microsoft uh, database then i show you how to go about it therefore you just hit on uh, this point here you hit on form design then once you hit on form design like that you can make this form smaller in size therefore you just need it to be such size that way or that size then you go to property sheet you go to all when form is selected here Therefore, you go when form is selected there. Therefore, set this one, pop up, yes. And also, model, yes. That is model, yes. And from there, after doing that, uh, you can also, for example, assign this one uh, a color. Like, uh, you can assign that one. Therefore, when you run it, uh, there we are, uh, ladies and gentlemen. You see what I have. Therefore, this is what I have. And therefore, I just go to design view again. Uh, this name here you can change that one that name there so you can just uh, have the name uh, this is the caption here the caption therefore this one you can just call it a uh, uh, drop down list down list that way drop down list and therefore you see now our form is drop down list therefore when i click on it you see it displays a uh, drop down list therefore you change it in the caption then from there let's go to the activity of the day we want to uh, do uh, a list of items therefore you just go to this point uh, when you are in design you get this uh, uh, gadget here you get this guy uh, we call it combo box therefore you hit on it then you can draw it comfortably to where you want therefore there are two methods of uh, doing it you may opt to do it uh, uh, personally therefore I want the combo box to get no 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 you just cancel this I will show you two methods therefore you cancel that then you customize your combo box as you wish therefore here I want this one to be something choose a day before you are choosing a day there before this one you can just reduce it a bit Therefore, you are choosing a day. Give this one color white. You go to this point. Give it white. That way and bold. Therefore, you are choosing a day. Therefore, just take a label just for display. Therefore, uh, days of the week. That is the title of this. Therefore, I got format text. I give it white. I increase this one something like 16. Therefore, and then uh, this is uh, what i want now if we just hit on the combo box this one then you just go to this point here therefore you go to data when combo is selected here therefore what you need to do you just go to uh, this point here that is the uh, the row source therefore you just go to the row source and then you type your days of the week right for example uh, i may have Mm, to type this one if I start with Monday and this Sunday Sunday just copy this just copy that then you have your semicolon I want to copy this so that I can do it faster if I paste then this is Monday Monday that is Monday you paste this is Tuesday. Tuesday. Then I go ahead. I paste Wednesday. Wednesday. 
Then uh, after uh, uh, Wednesday, we usually have um, uh, we usually have uh, Thursday for paste. This is Thursday. Thursday. Last day, then we have Friday. Friday, and then last day, Saturday. We have Saturday. Saturday. There we are. Then, uh, in this point here, here, we choose value list here. You choose value list instead of whatever was there. Therefore, after having done that, you can just save this one. Let's save it. Save and go to home and run. There we are, guys. There we are. You see now, I have been in a position to uh, uh, set the days of the week in a, a drop down list. Alternatively, you can just opt to. Uh, use the, uh, a simple method like for example let me just add something here uh, right now we can have something different like let me just go to design view I use another example uh, then I just need to have a combo box therefore I just uh, have this one this is the simplest method of doing it therefore I draw another combo there then this time round I go to this point I type in the values that I want. If I just go to next, then now you type whatever you want here. Like for example, I have Impresa, I have Subaru, no, Forester, let me say Forester, Forester, and I have something like Legacy, uh, and then uh, for example, we have Forester Legacy. Uh, such then on the other hand you can just have uh, uh, Corora something and then something like Honda you can have something like Zoo Zuki Isuzu good then you just go to next then finish then this time around you opt to uh, adjust this one and give it whatever you want like for example uh, uh, we want to have car category there then change this one to a vivid car format I give it white I give it bold like that then this one's uh, just give it the, the red car red car then from there I save my work go to uh, this point home run therefore guys you can see for yourself this one is also working uh, wonderfully like uh, now you see I have accomplished the same uh, using a, a wizard therefore I would advise you to use any method that you like but uh, this one second one is easier therefore if I go back to design view here I click on this you will notice that uh, it has automatically populated this one this one here just like I would have typed you see now this ones if I needed to add more here you can still add from here by putting on the semicolon uh, then like for example we can add something else uh, like um, full, full saw like full saw but, uh, you see now if I save that and go to uh, my stuff here I go to my stuff here view then here you see now I have added the full song here therefore you can uh, manipulate a drop down lists that way by use of combo box without uh, much struggle guys thank you very much for watching remember to subscribe if you haven't subscribed for me and also you can uh, ask any question regarding the uh, lessons. Therefore, thank you very much for watching. See you in my next sessions.